Okay, there is another way of editing the skin. So earlier on, when we started, when we started moving the the Z spheres around, we are actually uh, editing the framework of the object, right? So this affects the skin directly. Okay. So what if you decide that you want to play with the skin? Okay. This works when you are in adaptive skin mode, viewing the skin. You can click any of these ones, usually it's the move command, to start to pinch your object. Okay. So you notice that my bone structure is still similar, but now I'm playing with the skin of the object. Okay. So it's important that you try not to overdo this, because it will start to deform your object quite badly. Okay. So Ctrl Z to undo. Now, this one, if you look at the red circle, this defines your brush size. That's why when I pinch that object, it deforms quite dramatically. If I want to reduce the brush size, let's imagine I wanted to create spikes from this main part. I can bring this down, click drag, and reduce the size, the draw size of the brush, and I get this. Okay. It's all click drag motion, just like pinching from a piece of plasticine. Okay. Now again, try not to overdo this, otherwise everyone will have porcupine and cactus looking objects. Okay. So be a bit selective. Again, if you go back to your bones, your your Z sphere mode, you can see that I can still adjust these objects okay. and the skin follows it okay, whatever I've done to the skin it follows the object okay now give it a try 